Hey guys, Eric Ferris, Motherboards.org, YouTube channel. We're going to do the unboxing of the new ASRocks H55M-LE motherboard. Here we go. As you can see, it comes in a retail box with nice fancy colors. Open the box up. Start off. Got here. All I know this is, so we'll open it up for you so we can take a look at it because I haven't seen this before. And this is a sheet on the intelligent any uh, the intelligent energy saver, which is basically green stuff, which means that this company is trying to keep things green, which is a great movement. I'm down with it, and you should be too. Okay. Then we've got the extra components right here. Let's see, we'll get these first. Please out. You come up with two SATA cables and the rear I.O. here. Not a lot in the box. You don't really need a lot. You get the manual. As you can see. The driver CD with all the stuff inside here. So after you do your OS, if you have any drivers that are missing, you just pop this in and it'll complete all your driver's installation. Then we've got some stuff on the instant boost. We'll go over this more in the review, but this is in here as well. So, Let's move on to the motherboard itself. Comes in a nice static bag, and it actually has a nice foam package on the background so that you don't cut your fingers or the bag doesn't tear open due to the components sticking out in the back. So, let's pop it open, flip around, you can see the ZIF socket here. The area around the ZIF socket is it's pretty decent. It looks like you can use probably a few different aftermarket coolers if you so desire, even though this motherboard really is based on a small form factor and is mainly for an HTPC. But some people care about this, so I'll go over it. Here are your memory slots. They're right here. Now, if you use a long card in here going through, you may have trouble getting your memory out as these things do kind of hit that area. So some longer video cards may have a problem right here, but that's where the memory slots are. Here's your 24 pin power connector. And then over here is your four pin power connector supplying the power to the zip socket itself. You've got two standard PCI slots and you've got a single PCIe 1X slot for some of the new components that are coming out. Here are your SATA ports located right here. And these are all the connections for your motherboard to connect things like your chassis cables for your plugins, your power, Here's also some extra connectors for your CPU fan or a power fan. Um, some of these things can actually be controlled within the BIOS as well. So you might want to take a look at that. We're going to flip it around. We're going to go to the rear I.O. here. Rear I.O., it's pretty simple here, nothing that fancy. You've got yourself a total of six USB ports, a single LAN port, both a DVI, single VGA connector, and you also get 7.1 analog sound. There is no digital sound, no SPDIF, but that's okay. Most people still have this kind of speaker system anyways. So overall, there's the motherboard. We'll just take a quick spin around on it for you to see one more time. And as we said, this is the ASRock H55M-LE. That's the unboxing. Thanks for watching.